The following podcast contains language and themes that some people may find offensive. It also contains charity work, climate discussions, and a certain popular 80s singer. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to That Was The Week That Was, Was It? The podcast that has heard what you have to say and we will try to take it on board. Honestly, no, we're not fobbing you off. You made some great points. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. I'm Alex Sivray and joining me for this episode is Hayley Pettit. Hello, Hayley. How Hello, are you? Alex. I'm so happy to be back. So, so happy. Yeah. It's a beautiful moment okay. for me. Well, that's good. That's good. It is a wonderful moment, isn't it? I'm so glad you're back as well. I'm so glad you, you decided to come back. Great. Thank you. So, have been up too much since we last spoke? Oh, loads of stuff. It's all boring, so I, I won't go there. I did go on holiday. That was nice. Excellent. That was nice. Yeah. But everything else. I saw the pictures, boring. yeah. <laughs> Well done. Well done, you. Thank you. So our guest for this episode is a broadcaster, writer, producer. It's, it's Maya Dunphy. Hello, Ooh. Maya. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. hello. It's, it's so funny talking to English people about all the things you do, because in Ireland, if you don't have more than one job, you are effectively unemployable. <laughs> Whereas in England, they go, how can you work in comedy and factual and entertainment? You go, because we're a very small country <laughs> and... We, we might punch above our weight, so we think, but you have to do more than one thing. It's funny, the difference between the two, but yeah, jack mm. of all trades, as they say. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, it's good. It's best to, have, best to have your fingers. Something I heard, uh, let me rephrase that. Jesus I was gonna, you just said, have your fingers and then stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't a, a, stop there. A, a, a very good friend of mine <laughs> said, use the phrase, ten fingers, ten pies. And um, oh, that kind of, yeah, it's like a very, very very niche niche porn. I don't know. It is. It is. It's a very good Um, friend. You have had quite the illustrious career, haven't you, Maya? You really have. So far, yes, you have. I mean, you've done Celebrity Master Chef. You did um, the other one, Dances with the Stars. Don't sing, yeah. You know what, Sorry, though, just bear one second. I, I'm I'm sweating so much in this new room that I've actually got sweat in my eye, and unfortunately oh. I can't see the script I wrote. It is actually, it is rather. Even here, it's quite sweaty. It's very warm here. I've closed all Good the windows. Lord. I too. mean, I want to have the, I want to have the fan on, but it's too far loud. too noisy. Yeah. It's okay. Listen, Listen we'll, to that. Well, I'll just talk whilst you're wiping the sweat from your eyes. <laughs> it's lovely. Jesus Christ. Oh, right. So, yes, like I was saying, you have had a very illustrious career. You've done Celebrity MasterChef, you've done Dancing with the Stars, you've had your own career, like broadcasting and things like that. But there is one question that I really want to ask you, Maya. Oh, good God, what is it? It's quite personal, Mm -hmm. but what's Zig and Zag like in real life? (laughs) Oh, um, I don't know what you mean by real life, because they are just... Two yeah. aliens from a planet called Zog. They are what you um, see. They're very juvenile, um, constantly messing. Um, mm. But yeah, they're um, yeah, just two little colourful aliens from a planet called Zog. So fantastic, fantastic. Very hard to work with, though. Very hard. Never work with the with children, animals, or aliens. No, of but course, nice. of course. I mean, but I ask that question of every single person I have on the podcast. But you're the first person to actually answer it correctly, so that's great. <laughs> Um, well, the great so, thing is, if you're with your podcast, I often get not that I'm anybody of note, but I often get asked to do podcasts where you're talking about personal things, and I always say no because a I'd bore myself, and b I just bore everybody else. But yeah. when I a cursory Google of your podcast threw up uh, Greg Proops and Mike McShane and uh, yeah. Colin Mockery, they were essentially my One Direction when I was a teenager. Oh, I know, cool. right? Me too. Me They're too. Absolute comedy heroes. And I remember, and I, when I was, say, 14, 15, I looked about 12. So everyone had fake ID, but I had my fake ID to sneak into comedy gigs because they were usually in, you know, the basement, like sticky floor basement in pubs or even here at our Olympia. I remember Tony Slattery come to the Olympia Theatre and you had to be oh, 16. Mm-hmm. And I dolled myself up to a ludicrous extent. I thought, I'm like, oh, God, just... If, it, anyway, it, so I had my fake ID to sneak into those kind of gigs. So there was Who's Landed Anyway live, um, oh, wow. Julian Clary, Tony Slattery. So I was probably yeah. like 13, 14 at the start of that. But I was obsessed with them. I mean, I was the same. I was I was obsessed as well. And uh, thankfully, I got... I mean, if you look uh, you look at the, the, the guest list that I've had for this podcast, it starts with friend, another comedy friend that I've known, a guy that I work with uh, on, uh, on a thing... And it's like Colin Mockery, because they say don't meet your heroes, but it is very much a kind of like, he's such a nice guy. 
He's so nice. Oh, that's what I want to hear. But do you remember now that everybody has their, you know, Andy Warhol, 15 minutes of fame, everybody can be funny for a few minutes. But back in those days, like we, it was an appointment to view those shows. And you had to kind mm. of book the only telly in your house to sit down to watch Who's Lines It Anyway. And there was like Ryan yes. Styles, Josie Lawrence, all of them. And it was yeah. just, oh, yeah. I was obsessed, obsessed. Oh, me too. Me too. I adored it. I adored it. I just remember every Friday night. I thought you were crying 10. now, but it's actually just the sweaty eyes, isn't it? It's, it's just, just sweat. the sweat. I'm just sw- yeah. sweating. I'm sweating buckets. Um, I am. I am going to get slowly naked as the show goes on. I'm just. Hey. I mean, the camera might go off. No, no, no. Um, well, Haley, yeah, we're yeah. way ahead. Way, yeah, way ahead of you. Come on, Haley. Yeah, Wait, we'll do it. Um, yeah, no, literally, my my eye is causing me issues. Just give me one second. No, it is actually, it is very, it's, I, well, oh, my I empathise. I'm not going to lie, I'm not far behind you here. First aid kit with this, a little eye wash, I, you know. Yeah, I need something, I need definitely need something. Um, but anyway, yes. The funny thing is, people people always talk about things like MasterChef and Dancing with the Stars, which is our version of Strictly, but those things are probably the least important things I've ever done, but the things that people notice and the things that especially people outside Ireland notice. But I did always say... If I got to the stage where I was asked to do reality TV, people say, which would you do? I always said, I would do the cooking and the dancing. Um, so I've done both of those. Now, the dancing, I absolutely hate it. But the... Um, oh, I would hate that oh, too. Oh, good God. Good God, Haley. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It was one of those things I was asked to do it, and I said no. And they said, look, would you just... It's only a long list. Your name goes on a long list, which means it's a whiteboard in someone's office where they put together demographics and women of a certain age, and they go, if we get one that's better than uh-huh. her, we won't have her. Um, yeah, so then it's a bit like our, our guest list for the show yeah got it. yeah exactly exactly token oh, woman token okay, woman nowhere. around 40 um so I said you know what? I'll just say okay I'll say yes I'm, I won't get past the long list and then they said look you're in and I thought oh fuck um but then mm. I thought maybe this is fate's <laughs> way of getting me out to do something to I hate to say it you know people are really kind about the show because they can see you you're out of your comfort zone and it's pretty yeah. obvious when someone like me who doesn't have dance experience is on telly and there are people who say oh I've no dance experience and they're like oh yeah I did a few cha-cha lessons when I was 12 did you because I didn't and someone said to me, yeah. you've never done a salsa class like on a hen night? No, that's not what we do on hen nights. No, <laughs> no that's class. not what you do on hen nights. Yeah. Who does and, that? Um, no, I, I also wouldn't be the most physically confident person. And because, um, you know, I'm quite petite, people assume I have no problem wearing a swimsuit with tassels covering your vagina. And I, I, I did. Mm. I was kind of, I was concerned by how short and skinny they there. But you know what was really good for me? Um that the first night I asked him to, to make my costume a bit longer. I got there on the day and my dance partner had had it made shorter again. He said, look, my, I said, you'll look ridiculous. Like you're only five foot three. If you have like a knee length cha-cha dress, it's fine. And I went out, I danced appallingly, but um, nobody died. Just kind of my benchmark mm-hmm. for everything really. And yes. uh, I looked fine and no one said I looked ridiculous. So actually it was okay. And so it, it was at the end of the day, it was a little bit of a confidence booster because by week three, Definitely. you're going back out in your tasseled swimsuit and you're almost used to it. So, yeah, mm, yeah, I can good. imagine. I can imagine. It's not something I'd ever do. I, re- I really can't. I've, I've, I, I, no, but then they wouldn't ask me because, you know, I'm nowhere near that level. Um, I'm not even on any list. I'm, I well, think, I you know what? I think, well. I think they. <laughs> I'm not, are you on a register somewhere? Is that it? I'm not on any <laughs> list, okay? I'm not on any list at all. Moving on. <laughs> God. Swiftly. Um, yes, we are here to talk about Sip your week my, more than anything uh, else. We're not getting personal. We're not doing anything like that. Um, but um, <laughs> yes, so your week, Maya, back on track. Yes. You, you can tell we've been away for a while, but we're going to do this. Monday, what happened on Monday? Monday. I'm starting to strip. We start on a Monday. I thought maybe with Brexit that you went back to some old English calendar and said, we start our week on a Wednesday or something. So oh, definitely not. We definitely don't. not. There, we don't. there is one extra day, though. There is one extra day. But you're gone. I like poke fun at Brexit. <laughs> no, I won't. Let's not go there. Um, do you no, know what's really funny? Can. Because I, sat, I only sat down an hour before this to try and remember what I did this week. I could tell you what I got for Christmas age 12. But if someone <laughs> says, oh, what did you do yesterday? I'd have to go and check the CCTV really? in my local area because I'm actually genuinely not uh-huh. sure. So it was, did I see you going yeah. to spar? You might have. Just I don't know. Might be, an, might be an age thing. Might be a post-pandemic thing. I don't know. But so I just scribbled down. So Monday, um, I'm an ambassador for the hospice in Ireland and I do their ads. Okay. 
not not advertising the hospice. It's like, hey, come, come to yeah. the hospice. <laughs> come to the hospice. It's great. Roll yeah. up, roll up. Book your room now. Love. Now let me re- let me rephrase food. that. I do. I do think <laughs> if you can eat it, um, but I. Yeah. So awful. This is very dark. But I do um, their radio ads for fundraisers. So we have a there's okay. a big coffee morning every September. Um, you might have the same in the UK, and uh, it's, this is the first year where it's back. So. It's lovely to do stuff like that. Um, look how noble I am. So I did that on Monday. And then after that, I skived off with my little boy. And we have our natural oh. history museum over here has been closed for the last two years for renovations. And it's just reopened. We call it the Dead Zoo in Ireland. We, oh, amazing. We, yes. Oh, um, and the thing about the Dead Zoo is it used to be, I was obsessed with it because they have it's not quite as fancy as your um, natural history museum in london it's not as big but it is no, lot but it is of course, not. Not. Of course not of course it's <laughs> not darling sweat from his eyes so he yes. of course it's not um, no, no. although the, the giant the the whale on that hangs from your ceiling in your history museum actually came from ireland it was found off the coast of uh, Cork, I think. So it's just something else you stole from us. Oh, it's no fucking dippy, though, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> no, not, Hayley. I heard that they this thing about dippy going on tour. It was actually to create more space in that in that lobby so they could sell events, which makes sense. Uh, well, more sleepovers. Yeah, that does make they sense. Do, yeah. They do sleepovers, don't they? Not like being on one. Well, no, they do. Apparently, they do corporate events, huge corporate events oh. that they fill that room full of tables. So. Having something wow. floating red makes more than a child table. sleepover. Yeah, that's just Aww. odd. It's just dippy. Your responsible parenting, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I think it's coming back though. But anyway, and, I, and years ago, when I any any time any time I had a new boyfriend, that's about three times in my entire life. But any time I started dating someone, I would always suggest a pint and then going to the Natural History Museum no. because it was um, I don't know. It was just a kind of nice way to gauge somebody. And there was it sounds better than Netflix and chill, doesn't it? It's like Pint and Natural History Museum. <laughs> yeah, but it, you don't want them in your house on a second date. Oh, no, do you know? definitely not. I'm not no, that kind of woman. No, no. But my point is, I always, I found some of the animals, they're absolutely hilarious. There was like a quizzical platypus <laughs> for decades. Because the taxidermy, <laughs> a lot of it goes back to Victorian times. And that's yes. all quite old. But then Shaky. the eyes were always odd. There was a certain period in time where they never got the eyes right. No. So there was this quizzical platypus who looked like he just left the grill on. And then there was like this orangutan who looked like he'd forgot to hang, hang up on someone he was now talking about. So I would gauge <laughs> people's reaction about how hilarious they found the bad taxidermy. So anyway, Excellent. we went there on Monday and then we went, we did a proper like kids day. We went to McDonald's nice. and I made a, I don't know, and I made a terrible choice because then I, I ordered one of their new veg, vegetarian burgers. Just trying to be oh, yeah. noble. And now you know what? Like if, yeah. if you're going to go to McDonald's, have the burger. Just like, just have course. a Big Mac. Exactly. Yeah, and then he went, we went book shopping and then he went to the cinema. Oh. Wow. Um, my big thing is I'm obsessed with the cinema and I want my son Top to be obsessed mom. with cinema. So I've brought him to cinema almost monthly. Once there was something to see since he was about 12 weeks old. Um, oh, I love that. So when he was 12 weeks, we'd go and see like adult films. Not ad- not adult films. That's <laughs> <laughs> No, no, oh, yeah? no, you know, they so have, be, sorry. So, you know, you got the kids in the trench coats, yeah? I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. No, they have, Maya, are, you on, are you on some sort of list? They, they have, <laughs> I, 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 I am, but they haven't found me yet, so. I know, they have this thing called um, mum, and, mum and baby screening, so they show, at gro- they show normal movies for grown-ups, but with the sound uh-huh. down a little bit, and the lights up a little bit, and they're at about their mm. 11 o'clock in the morning, so you can go and see, if you like the cinema, you can bring your baby to, and watch your own, it might be a 16s movie, so you can't bring yep. kids that are over two, because that'd be emotionally damaged, mm. But, uh, mm. so yeah, it's not adult <laughs> films, it's normal cinema, but since he was... I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I've brought him since he was two, and I've he's now seven, so he's he has seen every well, single. Well, why not? Every, yeah, <laughs> every single movie he's seen. So, what did we see on Monday? We saw Fantastic. A League of Super Pets. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it's actually very good. The only problem is I I can only bring him to kids' movies now because when he was a baby, yeah. I could bring him to anything, mm. and some of them are absolutely yeah. shit. And I come, I'm going. I'm going to yeah. write a good kids' movie because some of the stuff they get away with awful do you know what happens though I, I'm, I love Twitter I'm quite active on Twitter and the only one we ever walked out of was Angry Birds 2 um, mm. now we hadn't seen Angry Birds 1 but we still managed to follow the narrative <laughs> but that wasn't it was just so fucking bad yeah. and I put something yeah. up and said Jesus it's the first time we've walked out of and of course who finds me the producer of Angry Birds 2 of course <laughs> in some- 
kind of said, well, I'm sorry you didn't like the movie. It's like, delete, delete. Or just, just. Oh. And instead, instead of standing up and going, yeah, well, I'm really sorry I didn't like it. We walked out. I do that Irish thing where I go, I'm so sorry, sir. And I'll just send you all my money. I'll buy the merchandise. We'll go back and see it again. <laughs> <laughs> the okay, same well, thing maybe, again. <laughs> maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah. I'll go and see it again. I, yeah. I could have been wrong. I could have been and it wrong. And happened with dog, the new dog, Tanyan. There's a new dog, Tanyan? Well, this is what? about, we saw this last year. Yeah. But oh. um, I lived in France as a kid for a few years. And we the old dog, Tanyan animation that we first oh, saw in amazing. France. It's the same animation. It's the same. So, so yeah, that, that's been made into a, a movie or it was last year. So again, I just, I, I, I didn't slag. I mean, liked it. We just didn't like it that much. And again, they must yeah. have um, searches on there. I didn't even hashtag it, but he found it. He was like, hola. Mm. I was like, oh no. <laughs> my question is missed in Spanish thing. We really liked it. And it was very true to the original. And now I'm going to go and just jump off a bridge just die <laughs> but that's the thing about twitter Quite. you can't i need to stand over what oh, i say and you need to always assume that somebody might find their own art yeah. and then 100 no, pull you true. up on it yeah it's true but angry birds too true. bag of shite anyway no, yeah. that's um, true. that was our stand monday by it. well I, I like, I like, as I say, I do like the fact that you can have, um, you can bring your kids to see certain films that you know that you want to see. That's good. I remember in Clapham they had a uh, dog screening as well, oh, where you could cute. actually bring your dog. What? Um, yeah, you could bring your They'd dog have a seat for to your the dog. cinema. That's but you could only see cute. Isle of Dogs. <laughs> That's the only one you can see. No, Sorry, no, this, this this is just a joke for that punchline. Is it actually true? I think it might. Have, no, no, no. It, it was a, a, probably a promotional thing for that film more than anything else. But yeah, no, it was was just Howl of Dogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have a we question about this. I have a question about this. What if your dog mm. needs to go poo poo wee wee while the film is on? Do you know when your I don't have a dog. Does do you know when your dog is it like your kid when they start like you know well, moving I around? Think you should probably like, take did, them beforehand. Okay. Take them out, you know. Yeah, you know. I mean, house trained dogs are fairly good. You go beforehand, and then yeah. I don't have a dog now, but I grew up with dogs, so they will kind of go. Oh, I need to go for a shit or something. <laughs> they will. You'll, well, they'll you'll let you know. know. That's good. You, yeah, they will okay. let you know. So All they right. will let you know. I, f- I feel better about that now. Yeah, she, our dog will actually take a shit in a new house. Oh, you do have a dog. Uh, well, then you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you yeah. could you edit out my dog impression, by the way? Because that's really. Can I do what? Can you edit out my dog impression there? Because I think I've just let myself <laughs> let myself down quite badly. <laughs> that was. Do you want another go at it? Do you want another run up at that, it? No, it's only going to it's only <laughs> going to get worse, good. Alex. It's only going to get worse. Oh, amazing! I'll, I'll I'll isolate that and put it at the oh, end of something. Oh God! Um, he always says that. Yeah. He won't. He won't cut it out. Yeah, no. He's, he loves I'm it. Terrible. He's going to love it. I'm terrible. I look crap like that. <laughs> Um, can, can we can we just get on to Tuesday, please, for the love of yes, God? Yes, we can. Um, you see, oh, I want to ask you a question about that plant-based McDonald food, though. First, yeah, well, oh, it, it tastes like, like, plant- it tastes like well, a plant. Well, here's the thing. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do. There's two. There's, there's they have a McPlant, which is supposedly yes. like um, a a Big Mac, um, but it doesn't. It, do you know? It's not too. It's a little bit dry, but it doesn't have that meaty taste that a burger has. But I didn't have that mm-hmm. on Monday. I just I went for the sort of vegetarian. It was basically two veggie nuggets, which is like the contents oh. of a vacuum cleaner bag compacted oh, and then and then dried lovely. out. In, in okay, good. Just oh yeah. god, um, yeah, it was very dry. And I left. I I, ugh, I left going. Well, what was I thinking? But I'm trying yeah. to. I don't. I don't. Even, I don't even know what I was doing because my son didn't have. Like we were trying to do the right thing for the environment. I'm trying to encourage. We're having like one or two plant based meals a week and doing all that. But McDonald's is not yeah. the place to go for a plant based meal. No, it's meal. not. It's not. They're known for burgers. They're known for beef. Aren't so they? if you're going there, don't do it. Yeah. So I won't. I won't make that mistake yeah. again. I'm trying to position my yeah. camera Woo-hoo. so that light is. I'm not doing anything. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? There's these stupid blinds here. Sorry, <laughs> this all goes in the podcast. This all goes in. Um, look at these blinds. Yeah, but look at that window. Oh. It's- Beautiful. What's wrong with you? So ungrateful. <laughs> this, this. Uh, well, the problem face, there so. is, Alex, your blinds are are open the wrong way. If you adjust them the other direction, they'll point upwards. They're now pointing downwards in your face. Yep. Right. Hang on. Give it a go. I, I'm uh, we'll do. We'll sort the matter. We'll sort that out later. Look it's at fine. mine though. I've got like some sort of like firework of light on my on the back of my bedroom, which is. <laughs> it looks like the second coming in the back of your room. There. It's like. <laughs> Ooh, it's like game. It's like Game of Thrones. It does the eye. <laughs> It's it's quite biblical. Right. Mine is very dull, but oh, oh but it's nice. a beautiful view out there, Maya. Not, so it's not really. Um, th- this that'll be great for the podcast. All this visual stuff. I love adding <laughs> that. Um, so 
you know, on Monday was McDonald's and cinema. It was a packed day by the sound and of it. And dead zoo um, and plugging the hospice. Dead zoo. Yes, top mum day. Yeah. Top mum mom day. Mum mom, mom day. Well, this is the thing, because you haven't really caught me in a normal week, because it's, um, no. yeah, Some it's holidays. like school holidays and... Um, mm. You know, parenting and school us. holidays is is it's it's, yeah. it's a heady mix. Um, yes, it's great, right. yeah. But essentially, that's my little right. boy Tom, he's seven, but he is he is um he's like he's just a middle aged man, so he's uh, <laughs> like he's very low energy. His favorite thing is lions. He goes, well, wouldn't a lion be great? You go, yeah, it would. So I'm I'm blessed, as the young people say. Oh, that's Hashtag nice. blessed. Oh, that's and all cool. That. Yeah. No, that's cool. Well, we'll move on to Tuesday then, because Monday yeah. was Mom Day. So Tuesday, what was Tuesday? What did I write down? I said Tuesday, West of Ireland work. What's oh yeah, Tuesday. I am at the moment. I am. I host a climate change show over here called What Planet Are You On? Um, mm. Which is why I try to have the old muck plant once every so often, or at least Back pretend to. Nugget. Um, so this is series three, <laughs> and um, uh, we didn't do one last year because of COVID, but this is series three. And it's essentially a kind of reality show where we challenge um, three or four, this year it's three families, to lower their carbon footprint. So we measure everything in their house. It's kind of, you know, sort of Big Brother style show. Where, I mean, they're very brave because they make the mistakes that we all make, but they admit to them. So we have smart meters on everything from like their plugs, their toilets, mm. every single device they use. I mean, every toilet flush wow. is monitored. Every, every bit of water they use. And then we have well, four experts in the trouble. studio. So we monitor them week by week, 24 seven. We even film like we've, their showers, everything. Hmm. Um, and then at the end of, at the, end of the week, again. I know we have to angle those GoPros. <laughs> Yeah, quite yeah. nice you know it's yeah. funny though it's always the dads the dads are grand they're happy being filmed is, is this broadcast or is it just for you <laughs> yeah it's a, it's actually a family show it's a family show yeah. and then yeah. and once a week we all meet in a big studio and i host and we have four experts across four categories and it's water waste energy and diet and then they score them out of 10 um, and give them advice on how to lower their carbon footprint for, for the next week. But it's great because, you know, people at home, the idea is if you even take one thing, like if you're somebody who leaves the tap running when you brush your teeth and you stop doing that because of the show, mm. or you're somebody who walks past the loo and flushes it because of the tiny bit of paper in it, and you're wasting, you know, 10 litres of water, people don't really understand all that. So it's actually, it's great. And I hope it's not a kind of sanctimonious uh, show. I hope it's not. No. But anyway, uh, this year we're doing, we're filming reports from around Ireland of kind of positive climate change stories and i'm a cynical cow but i have to mm. say um i just been the next generation i mean like i'm in my 40s and i've met these kind of people in their 20s who are uh, and they're they're environmental scientists and they are very well qualified wow. and they're spending their saturday mornings doing river cleanups and things like that yeah. and they're wow. actually still they're nice company and they're funny and they're not you know, kind of the sort of hippies would have thought of from years ago. They're they're really engaged with it. So we're filming these stories from around the country. So on Tuesday, I had to go to the west of Ireland. So it was an overnight there, which is um, kind of nice. It's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. and, well, I say a night, we were filming till 11 o'clock. So um, we got back to our hotel and there was the restaurant. There was no food left in the hotel. It's like, oh, the restaurant's shut. So what can we have? So we yeah. got this uh, sort of the last pizza left in the fridge, I think, which was very, very welcome at half 11. So... Um, can't say too much it hasn't gone out yet we we're, were filming with just local people in the area who are who are doing kind of very impressive things um to nice. in the fight against climate change yeah so, that sounds well amazing. that, that, sounds, that yeah. sounds great i mean um all all for helping it and yeah. it's, it's it's very educational as well i mean i'm sure we could all learn a bit of that i mean i i don't yeah. I, I i guess it's kind of on point, but I have started brushing my teeth while I'm in the shower. No, 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 no that's just uh, lazy I, lad stuff. That's oh. yes, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, listen, it is. this is I the mean, thing. Nothing to, do, nothing to do with saving the world. It's literally a case of well, I, I've just <laughs> brushed my teeth while I'm in the shower. Listen, lowbrow adult comedy stopped working for me, so I just jumped on the sustainability bandwagon. That's all it was, <laughs> you know, because it's yeah. what everyone's just, doing. <laughs> now you just film families in the shower. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thing is, though, I'm a huge fan of like moderation and common sense. So I, I'm not a vegan. Um, I live in the city. I don't have to run a car. But uh, you know, I just think a lot of a lot of the finger wagging and the shouting and name calling is very unhelpful. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big problem. We got to something about it. But I think having a kind of moderate approach where you say, okay, well, maybe if you eat meat every single day, could you try and have a veggie curry one day a week? And even yeah. that is a big deal for some people. So you know what? That's <sighs> I'm an advocate for common sense. I <laughs> yes. Hope. Yeah. No, do you know what? Mi militant vegans, I just think it's unhelpful. 
It's like the yeah. people, yeah, I mean, I spent a year, I absolutely love wildlife. I spent a year, um, I was meant to go for two months, stayed for a year in Borneo running a wildlife project for orangutans 20 years ago. I'm still really involved. Oh, and when I came back, I got wow. involved with, because when I, before I went over there, I thought I, I was very anti-zoos and I realized, ah, it's actually zoos are really important. Good zoos are, are really, really important. important. So I came back yeah. with, mm-hmm. and I changed my mind and I got involved with a couple of wildlife groups here. This is 20 years ago. But I remember the first day we were helping build this kind of uh, monkey refuge out in Wicklow and the people who were doing it, they were like one of them broke her arm just by picking up something. She had, she was, she just didn't eat properly at all. Like her bones yeah. were crumbling. Yeah. And then we worked all day. We went to, and I, and I got a ham sandwich and she was so appalled. She went, how can you not be a vegan? And I was like, well, I'm not going to eat an orangutan. And I just thought, I don't no. really, these aren't really <laughs> my different. kind of people. And they were the kind of people who would be outside. Um, that There was a fur shop in Dublin. And like my grandmother had bought a fur coat there like 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah. But they had thrown paint at people. And I go, you don't really achieve no. anything by throwing paint at no. old ladies no. who bought a, no, who bought a mink gonna, jacket in the 50s. You're not going to change people's minds, are you? No. no. You're not, yeah, so I, I don't, I don't you're just going to make them pissed off with you. No. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, anyway. you know, it's it's unfortunate that it's not good enough for them. You have to go the whole, the whole hog. I mean, it's it's all or nothing. I mean, yeah. I use the word uh, yeah, not well. I say hog. Mm, I was like mm, pig. delicious. <laughs> so, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. How gross you say? Um, <laughs> but honestly, you know, like I, yeah. I think if if people were more aware of of emissions. If people learn more about emissions, they go, okay, well, do you know what? Maybe I will, and for every for health as well, if you drive your kids to school and it's 2K away, maybe I could walk two mornings a week if it's sunny. Those little things yeah. make everyone feel better and have a veggie yeah, curry on a definitely. Monday. Um, yeah, and maybe yeah, try and yeah. have get your kids to have fish one day a week if you're somebody who just always goes totally. for the sausages and potato. So, but that, but I anyway, like I said, I'm a fan of moderation, common sense, and you know, saying yes. to people, look, let's just do what's within your means and what's practical. Otherwise, you've yeah. lost them already. So well, that's exactly. it. And also, I find a lot of vegans that do do that, that do yell about it and are very militant, are basically preaching to the converted because they're not. If, if, if someone like says a post like you know about vegan veganism being the way forward, blah blah blah, I can guarantee you the only people that are going to like that post if it's worded like that are vegans. vegans. Yeah. yeah, totally. And it, it's. But if you say to somebody, to here's a challenge, could you do two meat-free days and here's two really nice recipes of like, you know, a, a vegetarian korma, which will taste almost exactly like your chicken korma. Try it. Could you do it two days and you will save X amount of money? Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, it's, especially people are more concerned about health now as well. And if you if you take that angle, sorry. Yes, my love. It's all right. You're fine. Yes, my love. Sorry. I just, I really need to do this. When, when you're done your podcast, boil in. Just- you can say I'm done my podcast, okay? I will. I absolutely will, okay? Good job. Bless you. Sorry. Um, oh. Stop saying sorry. Stop saying sorry. You sound like sorry. me. He's adorable. Um, He's adorable. I have three. No, honestly, so, do yeah. not have you, have you got kids, Hayley? Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. I have three. Hayley yeah. had to leave. Um, yeah. She had to leave the podcast one time because someone was outside the door, wasn't it? I can't remember who it was. Yeah. But, I, I normally um, lock the door and I was just like, um, I'm going to have to just... Sorry. Someone's literally trying to like beat the door in do you know what's been really (laughs) good and i don't i don't i I don't normally get on any kind of feminist bandwagon because um i don't even know where i parked my feminist bandwagon i think i lost it a long time ago but i I, the good thing about the pandemic parked badly as well isn't it yeah (laughs) parked very badly (laughs) handbrake handbrakes not on just um the fun here's the funny thing i actually don't drive but I'm technically mm. a qualified tire fitter because I spent three years working in a, in a petrol station. We had to do a tire fitting wow. course, a basic one, not one of the super ones, but, you know. So there we go, a bit of trivia. I hope um, that's on your CV. Oh, God, it should be. God, isn't it, it great? You only, you only get to a point in your life where you can take off the, those shit jobs off your CV. Yeah, it's wonderful when you get that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Qualified tire well, fitter. Great, exactly, right. semi, semi, semi qualified. <laughs> but what was great about the pandemic was it kind of showed because I think so many women were constantly lying about child concerns and child issues and sort of just juggling all the time. And I think it yeah. kind of took for men to be at home with kids going, "Oh, so this is how it is," you know. And mm. remember oh, that really. the thing that went viral with the guy in the BBC whose kids came into yeah. the room when he was on a Zoom. Everyone, <laughs> yes. Oh, it's hilarious! And now it's just people understand, you know. It's yeah, the norm, totally isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the yeah. dynamic here has definitely shifted since the uh, since yeah. the pandemic, and it's thank God because it needed to. <laughs> it certainly has. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah. so what, where were we? That was Tuesday. That yeah. was Tuesday. Yeah, uh, 
climate pizza. changing half past 11 pizza half past 11 yeah, yeah <laughs> that's great and then, then it was wednesday it was, yes. it was a, it's a three-hour train journey so i was Oof, uh, wednesday yeah, then i came back to dublin and um one of my best friends who used to live in cuba and is now back in ireland again thanks to the pandemic uh i mm. met her for lunch and sneaky pints Aww. Nice. Now it looks, now it looks like I do no work at all, but um, so yeah, we have we haven't had your level of heat wave, but we've had um, it's been lovely here. It's been civilized. Ireland gets civilized yeah. heat waves. Oh, yeah, but it's it's oh, terrible because oh, oh. I like my mom. My mom was I hate saying was my mom passed away a few months ago, and it's been a very oh, hard sorry. year. Mm, but my mom was that. Spanish, so I got my dad's pale skin, but I'm not like that ginger Irish white. Um, mm. But in mm. but in Ireland, the second we've a temperature over eighteen degrees, they have to open burns units in the hospital because people are so irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, like, they just they just go out pale. and they destroy themselves. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. Wow. But yeah, Wednesday was lovely. So um, one of my very best friends, Adele, we went for a lovely lunch, and we had a cocktail, and then we went to a pub called Peter's Pub, one of these old school pubs in Dublin. And on a, on a hot day, they just kind of drag the stiggles out and everyone squints in the sun. You'll just sit out in the street, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the yeah, street yeah. with a pint for a while. So I did that and it was absolutely heavenly. And it's quite nice when it's you walk amazing. home slightly squiffy at 6 p.m. when everyone's going yeah. out. Oh, you still get a good yeah. night's I haven't sleep. done that. Yes, I haven't done that in quite some time. Uh, I really haven't. But I don't, I don't drink so, so much anymore. Um, so should start. I've got, I kind of... I should really start. I drink me. far, far less, but I get far more enjoyment now from the from the drinks that I do have, which is that's fair great. Enough. Oh, it's no, so middle aged, isn't it? It is. <laughs> she says with her balloon of even this. I say it's vodka and diet coke, which is like my nineties drink. It's not. It's co- it's caffeine free coke because I'm so old. I go, oh, caffeine free coke. I can have it after six o'clock and still sleep. Lovely, nice, lovely Aww. time. Yeah, yeah. You're being sensible. That's the What's thing. That? I like it. <laughs> I like it. So I have a mug of wine. It's you have a mug of wine. Oh, that is wine. It is wine. Well, is, is it red or white? What have you got? Well, it's very hot. And normally, I'm quite, I'm quite liking a, a red, but it's too hot for red. Okay. Um. So it's it's a Pinot Grigio, right. which is white. Yes. Yeah. For a second there, I thought you meant the wine was hot. I thought you'd gone for mould or something. <laughs> <sighs> nope. 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 Festive. <laughs> very festive. Especially <laughs> considering that that thing you tweeted. Um, was it yesterday? And that is the moving. Christmas that's songs. moving on to Thursday. Thursday, yes, I welcome. record. I record uh, my own podcast Seamless. with my friend Paddy Courtney, who is one of my best pals. Um, accountant turned stand up turned actor writer. We've I've known him for twenty years. He's great. So Amazing. we do a podcast called Read the Room, where we just kind of call out people who haven't read the room that week, um, <laughs> and it's going very well. But we usually it's go to this podcast. hotel just around the corner from uh, the studio just for a cup of tea afterwards and a kind of debrief. And in that hotel, I went to the toilets, and what was playing? So like, I think it was Coldplay singing "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas." So I was standing oh, there going, I was going to do the voice and the voice record, but then you can't put you can't put a voice record note onto Twitter. I've tried because mm. I was recording two conspiracy theory drunks on the train last week uh, with, the, yeah. with, with the voice notes and I couldn't put it on Twitter. So I was like, you know, you've got to use the Damn video. It. So like video and a tour, it's not a great look. But yes, they were playing Christmas tunes and the hotel got back and they were sort of nebulous. I said, look, was it a glitch or, you know, are you on board? And they went, oh, no, it was uh, just a playlist, but it was on no, their playlist in August. <laughs> yes. No. Just a playlist. No, 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 no. Se- September, it seems to start, doesn't it, in the shops and stuff. But in a hotel, mm. have more class, please. I know. I'm not oh, right, and I'm, I am, I'm Christmas mad. I love Christmas, but not until not Halloween's over. Mm-hmm. I mean, once that's Halloween nice. is over, then that's it. I've, all bets are off. So November 1st, that's, right. that's it. I'm, I'm all in. Yeah, November, um, yeah November's good. Good yeah. on you. Good on you. Your your podcast is great, by the way. I just like to. That's add very that. kind um, of you to say. I do. It's a good one. If you haven't listened to that, please do. Well, do you know what I did? I started to think about, and I'm sure you both know this. If as kind of God, I don't even know if I'm a creative person. I used to be, but as somebody who likes pretending they're creative, um, it, it's especially in the last few years when you're a freelancer as well. Podcasts, it's mm. like, does the world need one more? Of course it doesn't. But it's actually a really, really good way to just kind of forge a path and get your own work out there and have it sort of on you know you can edit it yourself and you've control yeah, over it cathartic and, uh, as well, yeah and it? if people want to find it they can find it and it's um and actually we've just been asked to do electric picnic which is like our glastonbury 
Oh, nice. like, yeah, Very and nice. I am now shitting myself because yes. <laughs> I don't mind <laughs> stuff like be. this, but like, you know, Paddy's got a background in performing and I don't, and I'm deeply uncomfortable being on a stage. But like when you're with a pal as well, it'll be fun. And it's really, it's, a, it's kind of, a, it's a big deal yeah. to be asked. So, um, yeah. We, I'll just oh, I'll, little, I'll, I'll bring uh, a giant bucket of these and yeah, yeah why not why not when's that uh, September early first week in oh, September yeah it? yeah nice. electric mm, picnic it's our very good. like I said it's our it's our big festival for the year so um that's nice yeah. nice that's fantastic yeah, no good luck with that that's thank you very much amazing yes um so Wednesday is um. Christmas. That was Thursday, actually. <laughs> Thursday. That was Thursday. Thursday. We are blitzing. I know, Alex. Pay attention. Really are. What's he never going pays on? attention, Maya. Honestly. Well, you I did. But you did that them. seamless um, segue. You, you, you went. You, you said, "Oh, so Christmas too was... just brings me nicely to your tweet, which was Thursday." <laughs> It was, um, it was it was a complete <laughs> fluke. I, I just remember. Just I, I, a I, sweat I, in your I eyes. Don't, I don't know what's yeah. Literally, that is all I've got. Oh. I can taste. I can taste the salty sweat from my eyes oh, in no. my eyes. Stop um, it! No one needs to hear that. Brian Eastbourne Ferry. Brian Ferry. So the cool. sweat gets in your eyes. It's slightly less sexy, yeah, but you know, still. it's not quite as, as yeah. Especially when it's someone else's. Oh, it's Brian Ferry. Oh. Brian Ferry. Yeah, Brian Ferry. Like you would, wouldn't you, Haley? Who? Sorry. Brian Ferry. I was just thinking. I don't of, really know what he looks like. Do you not? <sighs> Gorgeous. No, no. just G- go- go- sweat go- gets go- in your eyes, and then smoke gets in your eyes. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. no. Now the thing he's, is, he's probably a hundred like and seven now. But I think he is so when, getting so, on a so little what, bit. Google when when he was young. Okay. Brian Ferry. Brian Ferry. Gorgeous. Young. Yeah. Did he do? Yeah. No, I'm probably I'm not going to say that out loud because he probably didn't do that song. It's going to make me sound like I'm no, go on. No, go on. Say it. Say it. Right, Tossa. No, go on. You might be right. Go on. Did he do what? You're now wondering whether to say it or not. Did he do what, I, Hayley? I, I can I always know, edit it out. A lot, because, a lot of kind of schmoozing romance. I want to say that he did Ferry Across the Mersey, but is it because it's no. his surname that I'm thinking that? Yeah, yeah, that's because it's his surname. <laughs> why? That is cool. Why would, why would he do that? Why would he um, do that song? I thought it might be funny. I'm not, it might I'm, be catchy. I'm, it might help people to I'm remember I'm not going to lie. That's as, that's as embarrassing as you feared it might be. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't say it. You bullied me into saying it. You bullied me. You bullied me. Hayley, I feel, I feel bullied. Hayley is younger. Hayley is younger than us, though, Maya. Not, not so much younger. Right. Not much oh, younger. No, I think you're probably a You're being lot kind younger, now. But... You're being kind. Anyway, Google young Brian Ferry. And now he, yeah. it was that kind of David Bowie androgynous. Now, just be, I'm not that old either. No. Like, I wasn't around for Brian Ferry first time, but I kind of discovered him in that sort of, you know, sort of, mm. you know, teenage phase where you're looking back at your parents' old music. It, it, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably of... Google 70. who sang Ferry Across the Mersey as well, I think. Yeah, it wasn't him. Oh. Well, lots of, lots of people did. Who sang Ferry no, Across the Mersey? No, not my cup of tea. He looks a little bit like some sort of convict, which is not generally <laughs> yeah. what I go That's for. That's actually quite a good... Um, yeah. Oh, no, there's one. This one's nice. He looks he looks schmoozy in that one. Oh, that way. Yeah, absolute ride. Absolute, as oh, we say here. Yeah. An absolute oh, ride. Oh, I like that term. I like That's that That's an Irish lot, term. Know. We call someone a ride. Now I've hit 40. I'm like, Brian yeah, Ferry. you know. Brian Ferry does absolute Brian, ride. Brian Ferry never looked like a convict. Brian Ferry. What the? Didn't and I actually he? liked him as he. I, Didn't I liked he? Him as, <laughs> That's an actual mugshot. What, what is that? You've. I don't know. You've just just, licensable. You've Haley, you've just undone twenty years of a crush. Thanks, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, I You're hate welcome. it when that happens. <laughs> Do what do they call it? The ick factor. You've just given me the ick no, factor. Do you know what? It, it's it's not a mugshot. Oh. It's a um. It's a. It looks like um. Like a passport photo. <laughs> like in one of those little photo booths. That's what I'm going How with. How did you find well, it? Well, I'm not finding that unbelievable. Young Haley, Brian strike Ferry that from your images. Google I'm... images. That's it. And then there's this like <laughs> no, cute I'm not, little I'm not, cutie I'm not one playing... underneath. I'm not. No, I yes, see, like he's cash. Very cute. I like it. How did this even come up? Oh, it's because he's got a favorite a song know. called "Smoke Gets in Your Eyes." It, it's oh, yes. yeah, that's, that's when your is. heart's oh, on fire, sweat. you must realize smoke gets in your eyes, and sweat got sweat an answer. Eyes. Eyes. That was the connection. Oh. It hasn't Alex, worked. It's your fault. It's now all gone. It's now no, all no, gone. No, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Up and you've oh. ruined twenty, twenty, twen- really, really more like a thirty-year crush. And I just I'm thanks sorry, for you're regretting coming on our podcast. I'm so sorry. I am. I am. I deeply. Who's your crush then, Haley? Go on. <laughs> I'm um. Uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Who's the man that did the um the pasta sauces? But was an actor before that. You don't even know his. F- 
I don't even know his frigging name. Oh, Paul, Paul Newman. Paul, Paul Newman, yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Or do you mean Lloyd Grossman? No. Oh, I like his voice, though. I do like his voice. Um, no, Paul Newman. Young Paul Newman. Makes, was, makes oh pasta sauce, surname ends in man, interchangeable. Grossman, yeah, yeah. Newman. Yeah. Oh, here's something. I met, I met Paul Newman once. You did not. I did. I was oh, 18. So he, he was in Ireland to open. He was, the thing is, he was so handsome. But he was, when I met him, oh, he was so very, handsome. very old. But he was always mm. handsome. But he was also a really good man. One of those people, even Aww. after the fact, you'll never, they'll never learn anything awful about him. And he put a lot into this charity called Barrettstown, which is a charity for terminally ill children in Ireland. Um, oh. And he essentially oh, launched it, put all the initial money into it. So there was the opening of Barrettstown. And my, one of my best friends, who's a piano tuner, was down to tune the piano. It was going to be a band playing. And he said to me, do you want to come down? I was like, I'd love to come down. I was 18. Yeah, I was like, course. I'll go anywhere with anybody at all times. <laughs> and Paul, <laughs> Paul Newman was there. So wow. I, I, I love that story. Yeah. He must have been Have there. you met Brian Ferry, Haley? <laughs> um, not, not yet. Not yet. But I do live near a river, so I'm, I'm really hopeful. Okay. I'm hopeful. No. But she did she saw right. she saw him punting across the Mersey one one <laughs> yeah. Running away from the police before he got arrested. <laughs> I really hope you get sued by Brian Ferry. Like this I don't oh, know. That would be hilarious, it looks... wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be so funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. Well just bleep his name. Like 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 the names that I bleeped when um Who sang <laughs> the song then? We were talking you guys are like, you're such a dick, but no one's actually know. told me who sings the song. Ah, ah, there we go. There we go. Hang on. I want to say... Hang on a second. Say, Hang on a second. Nobody yeah. called you a dick. No. Nobody called you a dick. I think I said... Jerry and the Pacemakers. Ah. Jerry and the Pacemakers. I wanted to say Jerry and the Pacemakers, but I but thought I was going to sound like a dick. And, yeah. I, <laughs> and I have a... I have a... Yeah. I have, a feeling, I have a feeling Jimmy <laughs> Nail may have covered it as well. I don't know. Yeah, Probably. I think, I think lots of people of have. have um, yeah. Or Robson and Jerome. And then yeah. there... Yeah. Well, yes, then there was, yeah. there was a charity we record for the Hillsborough Fund afterwards, which is That's the one right. we probably all know about. That was yes, in the 80s. Um, yeah. Yeah. But well, anyway, that's, that's a fun thing to bring up. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Me again. It's always me. This is why Alex invites me here to oh. just bring the fucking tone down. Well, <laughs> all I said is that I, I, I'd still, I would still, I would still with Brian Ferry, and now suddenly we're on Hillsborough, so, and yeah. you know, it's just. I think we should probably just move on. So, so maybe, to be honest with you, it might balance it out. I don't think Brian Ferry is going to sue us because no, you know you said, you said that you still would. So I mean, that's all right. Oh God, yes. Oh God. Out, really. Well, Haley, you can you, you can hold his jacket for him. That's... Oh, thank you. Um, so Friday. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Friday. What the, what the hell was Friday? High five. Friday, um, I spent about half the day uh, writing a pitch for a, a new show that probably won't happen, but that I've been asked no. to write up, which is kind of half lifestyle, half travel show that I would dearly love to happen. Um, oh, fingers crossed. But, you know, you when you, when you work mm. in telly, for every hundred things you pitch, maybe two might almost happen and then mm. fall the final hurdle anyway. So that yeah, is the, of the joy of telly. So I spent a few hours doing that. And then I did more charity stuff. I also am involved with a homeless charity here. So I went to um, one of, they do a lot of outreach programs. So they also have a couple of houses where people live in between. It's that kind of linked in between rehab and recovery from addiction and okay. going back to real life. And often there's a big gap there where people have just have nowhere Huge to go. Gap. So if, if someone mm. helps you get off drugs or drink and then puts you back on the street or says, go find yourself a job, an apartment now, there's, so you end up out, just back yeah. where you began, where you started. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I ended up um, sitting in a garden and a cup of tea with the, a gang of people who were recovered and uh, on the road to a new life. And it was all very kind of uplifting and lovely. Um, Amazing. So, yeah, that's what I did on Friday. And look, nice. nothing cynical. Yeah. Nothing cynical. No. Just a nice, uplifting story. Good balance. No, oh, that's good. A good yes, balance. That's good. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, Fantastic yeah, work. Obviously, I mean, it's great. It's, it's great you do stuff for charities. Fantastic. I mean, are they, uh, are, are they the only ones you work with or are there many more? It's, Alex, um, I know you're going with this. I, yes, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, go on. Keep going. 
it's I, I don't know is there a punchline here what have I missed no I, no, I feel no, I like no, I missed no, something it's, it's, it's one tricky, of those things that like I I don't I don't carry on oh okay um uh, yeah I, I do I do a fair bit of stuff with, with wildlife and and the dogs trust and yeah there we go ah, yeah, trust. is that what you wanted to get to <laughs> yeah that's dogs. what I get to yes yes yeah dogs now that's <laughs> what Apparently, I have a. Um, whenever I ask a guest to come on, there's always some sort of link. Regardless, of, and it seems to be dogs because I, I, I'm a dog person, and most of the guests I get on are dog people. It seems, Ooh, and dog. you know, uh, Haley's. Um, Haley's not. Haley doesn't like dogs. No, here, no, Haley. Do you no, do you not know? Do you know? <laughs> do you not this, like dogs, or are you af- are you afraid of dogs? Are you afraid of dogs? It is neither. Maya. Alex is just saying it. <laughs> oh, now she's to okay. stare the old shit stick there. <laughs> okay. I do not okay. have an issue with dogs. I just don't have a fucking no. dog. So apparently that means I don't okay. fucking <laughs> like dogs. <laughs> I'm not scared of dogs. Well, to be like, fair, no, do you know what? Scary. I admire people who choose not to have dogs as well. Yeah, because dogs yeah. are a lot of work. And I grew, oh, I grew so up much. with stray dogs, stray cats, or any stray animal was in our home. Because I had a mum who was a stay-at-home mum and she was brilliant and we had a lovely garden. But I'm now in an apartment with a balcony. I'm away a lot. So I simply can't have a dog. People go, oh, no, you can get a, get a rescue greyhound because they don't need much exercise. I go, well, no, it's still, it's really unfair. And most of the that stuff is, I yeah. do with the dogs trust is every bloody year, they still have to spend money on a don't give dogs for Christmas campaign. They still have to spend mm-hmm. money on this, on the pandemic. It was a disaster. And every Tom, Dick and yeah. Harry was buying dogs online for 500 yeah. quid meeting the car. Park. Oh you go, oh God, why are you doing this? In the January of this year, there was. I'll go back. No, I, I, I don't have my numbers in front of me, but there was about a, about a 40, 50 percent increase in the dogs that the January dogs being dumped back at the Dogs Trust. It's um, mm. and not just the Dogs Trust, the DSPCA mm. over here, and all of the wildlife, all all of the um, dogs charges and shelters, and it's just awful because people don't think. Actually, arguably, a dog is more work than a child. Because I had yes. my son in London, and eight weeks he was I was on a plane with him. I just brought him with me everywhere, but I couldn't have done that with the dog. No, so no, I would no, one day, right. one day I'll have it. I think maybe when it all goes tits up, I will move out to the country and open a really nice dog kennels. Good you know, one where you good. know your dogs are going to be very well looked after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, Haley, I Haley, it's just, a, sh- it's just a shame that Haley hates know. dogs so much. I know. I know. Right. You know, I, did, I liked you so I much, Haley. And now it's just yeah, we were getting on so I'm well. I'm sure you said you hated again. dogs at one point, Haley. I'm sure you said that. Yeah, no. probably did. You're, I'm sure you'll find oh, it in the archives somewhere. <laughs> no, shame. it's just you know, three kids, seven and under. I don't need a fucking. I know. I know. Or a cat, three kids, or, seven and under, or a snail. Oh, I need nothing. I need nothing. I need nothing else no, to look after. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Not happening. Long time dwell. I mean, I I don't have any kids. You know, me and my wife don't have any kids. We've we've just got a pug, and, and that's that's it. That's our that's child. Enough. So, that's there enough. There we go. So that's enough. That's, that that's is enough. enough. Yeah, that is enough. Yeah, Definitely. we went we went glamping recently, and uh, the uh, the lady who I booked it with, she went, "Oh, um, and are you bringing a dog?" And I went. <laughs> No, I just went. Oh, um, uh, um, oh, okay. Um, oh, you know, it is a dog-friendly site, and I went. That's fine. And she went. Oh, uh, I don't really understand. Then I was like, Well, we don't, we're not bringing a dog. I'm not anti-dogs. And she went. Oh, right. Well, you're not scared of them, though, are you? Because they will be running around. There'll be lots of dogs running around. I went. That's absolutely fine. As long as they don't bite my kids, I, I don't give a shit. I think you I just, just give off this one. vibe. <laughs> you give off this vibe, Haley, of someone who doesn't like dogs. You. Well, you made it. She made it sound like you had to bring a dog. Do you remember that? Remember that brilliant um, single cartoon strip, The Far Side, from years ago. And there was a mm-hmm. brilliant one where, um, you know, on the escalator it says dogs must be carried, and a guy stands yes. and goes, "Ooh!" So he has to go and he finds a dog to carry on the escalator. Yeah. It sounds like that glamping. Yeah. No, you must. Yeah, you simply must bring a dog to our. Do you mean you're not bringing a bloody dog? Site. And I'm like, "Ooh!" And we're not allowed to come if we don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> but we went, and it was nope. fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, good. good. Saturday. Uh, fantastic. That was Saturday. Saturday. We are now on Saturday. Saturday, Tell Saturday. Us all about Saturday. Saturday, I, we took a steam train. My son oh. is obsessed with them. Um, I really am kind of the perfect mum. He's obsessed mm. with steam trains at the moment. As you know, Haley, kids go through phases. Um, and it's either diggers or dinosaurs or something. Diggers, but now yeah. it's old-fashioned trains. He is obsessed. Yeah. And he could name them all. He can tell you the distance from... 
He goes, did you know that it's, what did he say, X amount of miles from Wyoming to Chicago? I was like, what are you talking about? And he got it exactly right. He's just such a little geek. Sorry? Oh, is he correcting you? He's correcting her. He's sitting by the door. Cheyenne, Wyoming. To... God bless him. He's sitting cross-legged at the door in silence. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love your brain. Yes. Your brain is so good. From Colorado to Wyoming, to Cheyenne, Wyoming is 900 miles, apparently. Anyway, wow. so we went on that. a steam train that doesn't, ha- doesn't happen very often because they're all based in Belfast in the north of Ireland. But about two, three times a year, they bring them down to Dublin and you can book onto them. And oh, my God, I thought uh, I could just buy a ticket last minute. And um, mm. he and... Someone said, no, you've got to be online at 10 o'clock on a certain day. And it's a bit like buying a ticket to Beyonce or something. So I was there, refresh, refresh, refresh. So I got the tickets and we went on the steam train and it was amazing. And it was all staffed by, um, I think, kind of volunteers. A lot of them were sort of men over 60 um, who work with the reservation or the Railway Preservation Society of Ireland. And a lot of them were from the north. And there was this guy and he seemed kind of avuncular and jovial. He had a straw hat on with fairy lights on it. But he got to our table and the old car. And, he, and there's something about a stern Belfast man that you just you don't say no to because they're terrifying. And he was like, <laughs> I'm doing the raffle. Do you want to do the raffle? I said, like, yeah, we'll do the raffle. Just, t- <laughs> just take what's it. Take my money. Take, take my, my money, money. please. It's yeah. three for 10 euro. I said, oh, dear, I have 20. I'm just taking. And my sister was with me. And he goes, everyone's a winner. Everyone <laughs> is a winner. And and when you, so you open your three tickets and then one does say when you might win like a little book or a calendar. And my sister said, I didn't get one. He went, what? And she goes, it's fine. It's, it's not a problem. It doesn't matter. She goes, what do you see? She goes, what do I see about what? Say, please. And she went, please. Oh and he gave God. her a calendar. He was very, and then on the way back, he said, there's a tombola. I was like, just here, here, just shake me out. I was. <laughs> take, take we'll just take what. <laughs> he, he was actually yeah. very sweet, but it's just something about a stern Belfast There's accent. Sinister. There's yeah. a, you, know, you just you can't say no, and you, we didn't say no. Amazing. Um, so it was great. So we went to a town <laughs> called Enniscorthy in Wexford, and the sun shone, and we hey. had we had food, and we and my Tom, Tom went on the carousel, and we had a great time. Then we got the steam train back. Then the steam train broke down. Um, oh, of and the other enthusiasts that had done this a lot said, "Oh no, this happens all the time." And we went to oh, back yeah. in Dublin at half seven that evening. Um, we right. got back at midnight, so it was a long day. So we were oh, we were in bed at midnight eating fish fingers, um, but it was lovely. Aww. It was wow. lovely. It was very nice. Wow. But it's that's not, if you cool. don't have to get up the next day or too early, it's fine. Yeah, it's all right. So we had a lovely day. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Um, and so the, uh, <laughs> I, just, I, I love the, I love the, the sinister way Tom Bowler was said. I just think that's fantastic. <laughs> and like, also, oh, I, don't e- I don't even know there's what a Tom Bowler is. What is a Tom Bowler? There is a Tom like a, It's It's one of those things where you put it's the a tickets raffle, in. But you spin and, it. And, and, yeah. Like a drum. You spin it's it in a drum, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. well, well there, 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 yeah. it wasn't. It was just yeah. tickets in a box. He Maybe, was just coming up with a new a name raffle, for it. Yeah. Um, it was a raffle, but we, we, weren't, oh, saying, we weren't saying no to this man. Um, yeah, it sounds like a great week. It's slightly mm. sinister, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> sinister tombola on a train is about man. Um, so... A, a Three for round. ten euro. It's fine. I'll, I'll take <laughs> thirty. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got to tell your friends about. Um, yeah, that's great. That was more, uh, that was so, more Scottish, to be fair. I, I don't friends, know. I, and, do, I, I mean, oh, I don't. And know. Scottish is much. It's much fun. It's like everyone's a winner. This is like everyone's a winner. It's like no. <laughs> I don't sound like. I don't feel like a winner, sir. I don't feel like a winner at all. <laughs> Less. So, tell us all about Sunday. What happened on Sunday? Sunday was my birthday. Yay! Yay! And I never, I never mark my birthday because I hate being a centre of attention. So, um, apart from a joint twenty first, I've never even had birthday drinks, and and it's quite sad. I think so. I'm now thinking that maybe by the time I get to fifty, which will be my next big birthday, I should just go fuck it. I'm going to have a big party. Maybe do I'm it. trained Why with the current Belfast conductor. Yeah, yes. he could do a tombola. Yeah, he and could. Everyone's a winner, and exactly. it would be lovely. Blow I just have the one for candles. my candles. I, the candles I recommend. They won't explode. Did it's you? Party. No, I didn't. I didn't do a fortieth. Yeah, didn't do, do a thirtieth. Um, well, when I turned forty, Tom was very was quite small, and uh, 
um, at the time, like, it, like Tom's dad was very into parties and he liked being centre of attention, like for his 40th. Mm. Um, so as, as I'm sure you know, Johnny's, uh, Tom's dad is Johnny Vegas, who is very well mm. known in your part of the world. But when Johnny yeah, turned... aware of him. Well, yeah. Have you heard of him? <laughs> when he turned 40, when I met him, he's like, you know, my family have never had a surprise party for me, which is like, just like, okay, so what you're saying hint, is, well, hint, we need to do hint, one hint, for hint. you. So mm-hmm. when he turned 40, um, mm. I... Uh, he was upset. He's obsessed with rugby league and St. Helens, where he's from. The local, mm. the stadium was being raised to the ground and rebuilt. And I thought, oh, like, wow. what, like, what do you do for the man who has everything? So I go, oh, so it was being his birthday is September. And I rang them in July and said, when are you knocking the stadium down? I think they said, oh, October. I said, could, yes. it, could I <laughs> book it? And everything in the North of England is so cheap compared to Dublin. So I basically booked well I booked the function room but the ha- so essentially his 40th was the last ever event event to be had in the St. Helens oh, wow. Stadium before it was knocked down oh. so I got a lot of brownie points for that yeah you did yeah. definitely um, hell yeah and, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I was actually able to afford it because it didn't cost a huge amount it, would, it probably cost less than taking everyone to McDonald's in Dublin <laughs> Um, wow. So it was great, yeah. So he can always say it that that his fortieth was the last ever event there, and yeah. then they knocked I, it down. Yeah, I I definitely think you need You'll a, turn a next blowout then for fifty, 350 definitely, definitely something like that. Yeah, definitely. But no, yeah, but, I, did, but I just I just get don't Brian like Ferry. even like get Brian my... Ferry to to perform at your yeah, fiftieth. Yeah, you could put Brian Ferry. Oh, I'd say he'd be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I hope not. I really hope not. C'est possible. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he'll turn up and you'll go, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you, oh you've oh, been yeah. filter- you, you've been filtering your photographs, Ferry, haven't you? Never meet um, your heroes. I know. Uh, let me see. Brian Ferry, how old is he now? I have a little quick Google here. Um, Brian Ferry. Uh, oh, he's 76. Um, oh. oh, he'll be all right then. That's fine. Like yeah, we've got a few more years. Then, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, um, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Thought, um, well, <laughs> well. Uh, I know you said you'd hold the coat, Ailey, but Hayley, maybe you'd have to hold more than that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so simmer frame, medication. Yeah, that's not quite what I meant, but there we go. No, 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 I, no. I, know what, I know what you meant. I know I'm trying to keep it clean, trying to keep it clean for a change. Yeah, this is <laughs> not a clean <laughs> podcast. I'll hold these balls up and you do the rest. <laughs> 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 I think we'll wrap it up there. Um, so, Maya, it's, as I say, it sounded like a lovely week. Uh, I do hope you get your 50th party blowout, like you said. And I hope this is a, a Well, will you come? You have to both come with if um, and when I do it. Do you, you. have it? That'd be amazing. Yes, yeah. Do you have anything you would like? Vegan yes. burgers all yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Right, book us in. Yeah, book we'll be there. In. We'll be there. Um, <laughs> Might be busy Do you have that anything day. you'd like to promote or boast about or get off your chest or confess to? Um, not really. I, I, my podcast is called Read the Room mm. with my friend Paddy Courtney, if you'd like to listen to it. If you are in Ireland, my climate change show, What Planet Are You On, will be on for Science Week in October on RTE. Nice. Um, you might be able to watch it online from the UK if you can be arsed. Maybe you can't. <laughs> um, and aside from that, no, not really. Well, Adopt, don't shop. We love dogs. Bar Bar Haley who hates them, <laughs> literally, and probably has a, dogs, right? has a coat. It's a coat made of puppy. Ha- puppy yes. Haley's motto is drown them young. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've been called worse. It's fine. <laughs> I'm at peace oh, with yeah, it. Yeah, dear, dogs are, but yeah. Um, so, like, like the dead, the dead puppy. Yeah. Well, Haley, do you have anything you would like to add? Absolutely. Good on you. Good on you. <laughs> well, Maya, it's been an absolute pleasure to chat with you. It really has. And my thanks, my yeah, thanks to Maya Dunphy. My thanks to Haley Pettit. I've been Alex Sivright, and that was that was the week that was was it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>